are continuing to work on this project. We have a go live date uh, set. We also have uh, staff from the various courts, probation, uh, magistrate, uh, along with our IT staff, some of those, that will be going for uh, training within the next week or so. Um, one of the departments that uh, I would like to have seen gone is not able to go for reasons of decisions of that elected official. And that's their call. So but we will work with them to try to uh, train the trainer, so to speak, when we get back from that. Um, we are making progress, um, but it's it's a very slow going process from the standpoint of you've got so many other officials that you're dealing with and trying to meet their demands, their staff's demands, um, and when I say demands, the needs that are placed on them by whatever the circumstances are. Uh, so we're still moving forward uh, with this. Um, it's not as fast as I would like it to be, but I've never gone through an uh, introduction of a software program that it has gone as fast as I would like it to. And every time they say, oh, this is great, it's going to do this and that and the other, for whatever reason, it never does this, that, or the other. <laughs> uh, not the way it was described. So we're having to, it's, it's a good uh, product, I'm not saying that, but we have to continually downgrade our expectations rather than uh, increase those expectations on the final product. The, the public in the long run will be well served by this, I believe. Any particular questions on it? Well, I, I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't think anybody that's involved has ever been involved in a, in the implementation of a software program, certainly one that's just largest the one that we undertook uh, finds that um, that that implementation implementation process has been an easy process it's always very difficult uh, there are folks that basically push back on just the fact that it's change is different from the way they were doing things certainly there's um, you know from the marketing standpoint it is as you say a do-all fix-all and once you get into it, you realize that it's not necessarily doing everything you want it to do. And so you have to make those adjustments and try to tweak it to where it fits. But, um, but again, uh, you know, I, I, I have all the full confidence that, it, you know, the implementation process will continue. We'll continue to work through those issues. And at the end of the day, when everybody's comfortable with it, it'll be a good program. Um, and you will see um, when we get into budget where we are uh, financially on some of these projects and also some of the things that um, we have discussed here uh, over the, yesterday and this portion of today, um, that we have a lot of opportunities and we have a lot of projects and things that can provide a tremendous amount of benefit to the community only depends on how much <clears throat> you are willing to spend to do it. How did I not think you were going to eventually get to that point? <laughs> well, what he's, what he's really saying is depends on how much we've got to spend, not what you're willing to spend. <laughs> so, you know that... And I understand that completely, and I, I was going <clears> to <throat> comment on that as well. I mean, we've heard a lot of things already from yesterday, just as you've said. A lot of these um, things that everybody agrees that needs to be done, but as we move through the budgeting process and, and Mr. Pritchard and his staff begins to put those numbers together, we as commissioners then are going to have the tough decisions of what we do and what we don't do. Um, so you, you've heard a lot from everybody about so far about what we need to do and what some of those costs are going to be involved. So. The heavy lifting is yet to come. I mean, they've got the, 
get those numbers for us and then we've got to be able to make those decisions of whether we want to move in that direction and then of course implementation even in a, a CASA or anything else I mean there's that process to go through if you decide to do that but, but. Well, I was just gonna say I, I don't think that the, the struggle is lost on staff because it's one thing whenever you hear from from Robin and you hear from Mike and you hear from Steve and they say if you spend a million dollars, this is exactly what you're going to get for it. And when that project is complete, you can go look at where that pipe was laid and see the homes that are served. You can go ride down that road. You can see the improvements there. But when you start to talk about some of the, the programs that we've talked about this morning, you, you can't do that. You can over time see the success. You can one by one see those people who their lives have changed. But it's, it's a little more uncomfortable because you can't say to a taxpayer, this is the exact return on your investment. So we understand that for yeah. sure. I mean, it, it, it's not like buying, not there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's not like buying new dump trucks and motor graders right. and when you know that you're spending way more on maintenance than what you should be because your, your stock has, has gotten a lot of miles on it. That, those are decisions that you just ultimately have to make. Um, but looking at that unknown, as I said, I, I'm interested in all the programs. I just want to know, can we get some ideas of what the data is to show the results? If I can see the results, then I can move to that next step of supporting it more and then going through the struggle, if you want to call it that, of trying to find how we can find the funding to put it in, um, bring it into the community. Yeah, so we definitely, we definitely we get that there's a difference in the decision making yeah. on that allocation. Anything else on criminal justice that y'all want to discuss? Yeah, no, I think we touched on a good bit of it. Um, Commissioners, anything that you would like to add to it? I don't want to be the only one talking, so. If there's nothing that y'all want to talk about on that, a couple of the commissioners.